you've already done yourself a huge favor in how to take care of your things by simply getting something that is partly just taking care of itself. That's it. You have had enough of my constant bickering about good quality clothes and fabrics. And so you went out and bought yourself a wool and or cashmere sweater to get me to shut the heck up about it. But I won't. I will, however, teach you how to take care of it. If you are here for the first time though, hello, I am Naya and this is my channel where I talk about style and beauty from a minimalist perspective. So if that is your thing, you've come to the right place. And in my recent winter outfit layering video, I go into a little bit of detail about why bad quality sweaters are doing you no favor whatsoever and why you should pick wool and cashmere instead. So if you're interested in that background, I'm going to link to a card to the video up here. But for this video, let's get into how you take care of a good quality sweater when you have bought one. First off, I want to say that my whole philosophy about buying bitter quality stuff and buying natural fibers for winter like wool and cashmere comes from my value that once you have something like that, you can wear it a lot more often without seeing it deteriorate because the quality is much higher in and of itself. So even though, of course, I do advocate for taking care of your things, I advocate even more for getting wear out of the things you actually buy. And you should know that from my perspective anyway, if you wear something a lot and over time it just falls apart, I mean, that's essentially the goal. The goal is to have something for such a long time that you have worn it out yourself. And sometimes you find an item where that is almost near impossible and that is just fantastic. Your new wool and or cashmere sweater will already do you a great favor in being easier to take care of just by not being made really badly, cheaply and from polyester. And from my personal experience, you can actually treat a good quality sweater sometimes with a little bit less care or just be a little bit more rough with it than you would be able to with a fast fashion or bad quality sweater. Again, that doesn't mean that I think you should just go out and drag it through the mud. I'm just trying to let you know that you have already made a better decision by getting something that is pretty sturdy on its own. When it comes to natural fibers like wool and cashmere, especially if you're new to it, the most dreaded subjects are usually moths and how to wash it. Moths are these gross little flying animals that gets into our food and into our natural fabrics. And it's actually not this flying little ugly butterfly that is eating your sweaters, it is their lava. They will find a nice piece of sweat or saliva or dead skin on your sweater and go have eggs in that that place and when the larva emerges they will have a dinner party in your sweater. Gross and really unfortunate because now you have ruined a really good sweater. So if you are going to store your sweaters in the winter you should do so in a loose compartment something like plastic that they won't be able to get into but do make sure that you wash the sweater. Also if you want to be even nicer with your items you can take them to the dry cleaner which will also kill any potential lava or eggs before you store it and put it in your attic or in your basement. Since I am a minimalist and I live in the Northern Hemisphere, I do like to keep everything that I own on me handy, except for maybe a few winter coats that goes to the attic. That is why I make space for all of my items in my main closet space, so I can always keep an eye on my clothing and how its condition is doing. Chances are you don't have any absolute abundance of cashmere and wool sweaters. So if you have some sweaters that are of lesser quality, maybe you can put those away and just keep the ones that are of really high quality in your closet at all times. Once you have your cashmere and wool garments in your main closet, store them folded in a drawer or on a shelf. Don't put them on hangers and let them hang because the fibers of the fabric will stretch and the sweater can lose its form. There are only one thing actually that I know for certain will keep moths away other than having just a completely clean sweater, which of course isn't ideal because one of the things with wool and cashmere is that you almost don't have to wash it at all. And that is cedar. Everything I've been able to research has shown me that something like mothballs doesn't actually work. And you're much better off storing cedar in your closet because moths absolutely cannot stand it or live around it. You would have to change that block of wood or whatever thing it is you have that smells like cedar ever so often, which is why I myself personally use a 
cedar spray. This spray I use is by The Laundress and unfortunately this video is not sponsored by The Laundress, although I wish. I bought mine in a high-end department store here in Zurich. I'm leaving a link to the spray down in the description below. The spray says freshen and deodorizes on it, so the main selling point of the bottle isn't even keeping moths away, although it absolutely will. So what I would do is once I'm done wearing a sweater, I will just put it with the other sweaters and I keep my spray right next to them and I just spray with the bottle a couple of times and then close my closet. Ideally, every time you've worn your wool or cashmere sweater, you could put it on a hanger just for an hour or two and put it outside just to air the sweater out and help keeping it fresh and clean. I'm gonna be honest, it's not something I get around to do a lot of the time, unfortunately, but if you wanna treat your sweater with absolute dignity and respect, don't forget to do that every once in a while. And then when you you put it back in the drawer or on its shelf, just give it a spray and leave it alone. If you get in the habit of spraying it with a cedar spray pretty often, chances that you will ever have a moth problem is really low. If you have had a wool on cashmere sweater for a long time and you're used to not washing it, you're also used to the fact that you can wear them all day every day and they literally do not start to smell. In general, every smell will magically vaporize from a wool or cashmere sweater once it gets time to just do its work. Like I did mention in my other video, cashmere and wool is odor resistant because of its unique properties and how the fabric treats bacteria within itself. So when you wear a cashmere or a wool sweater over and over and over again, you will next to never have any sort of odor problem. And if you ever do, like I mentioned before, put the sweater on a hanger and leave it outside for a couple of hours and the sweater will do its magic on its own. Even though it's the case sometimes because I wear my own cashmere sweaters so much and I just wear them day to day and just go about and live my life. If I spill on it, I spill on it. And sometimes I have had to wash cashmere or wool sweaters, especially the pink one that I have that is on its second season, because if I do spill something on it, it can develop sort of a stain. And even though the sweater will clean that stain on its own, it can leave some discoloration. And just the sweater, because it is light, will look a little bit less nice with time as I use it. And I will use it a lot, as much as I want. In which case, I will just throw it in the washer on a wool program with a neutral smelling laundry soap that I would actually also like to get from the laundress at some point. Once the sweater is done in the washing machine, it's important when you take it out not to leave it hanging anywhere to dry. Again, because the fibers can't get stretched out, it's not a good idea once the sweater is wet to let it hang like that. Instead, you should put it on a table or a surface and let it dry laying down like that. That would be kind of impractical if it wasn't for the fact that you almost never have to wash them anyway. So when you do it, just do it the right way. If you are not comfortable washing your wool and cashmere sweaters yourself at all, you can just wear them for the entire season and once you're done with it and you want to put it into storage or whatever, just leave it with the dry cleaner just that once a year and they will clean it perfectly and beautifully. The way I store my cashmere and wool sweaters in my studio apartment, unfortunately, I do not have a lot of closet space. I would have loved to be able to store my sweaters in a drawer, but there's simply just not really a space for it. So they are stored like this, which they take absolutely no harm from. So it's all good. Just to summarize and get back to my original point, I want you to feel as if you bought yourself something nice to be able to actually wear it. Fast fabric and bad quality clothing. Of course, we have a tendency to not really care about how we take care of that, but in general, it is so much less sturdy. You've already done yourself a huge favor in how to take care of things by simply getting something that is partly just taking care of itself. And when you buy something that is really nice and you really like and you're excited about it, don't be afraid to wear it. Wear it as much as you can and as much as you want. You deserve it and we are buying clothes to wear it. The absolute worst thing that could happen is that you wear it out or something terrible happens to the sweater, in which case you are one sweater poorer. And of course that is a shame, especially if you put a lot of money into that sweater. But in general, if you just get a lot of wear out of it, I don't want you to worry about it when you wear it. You're buying it to be able to wear it. 
That was a lot of the same point, but I really want that point across. That that is exactly what my advice comes down to in the end. I myself again live in the northern hemisphere and I only have four sweaters and if I'm being honest, only three of them and then two of them get a lot of wear. They're living their best life and they will continue to do so until they are completely fallen apart or for some reason I want to let them have a life with someone else. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like so that I know, but also it does really help out my small channel. And if you are here for the first time and not already subscribed, please consider doing so, because in that case, I would love to keep you around. Thanks for watching and farewell.